Good morning, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm a full-time reseller. Today, we're in my storage unit. Once again, as you could see, it is Monday morning. Or no, it's not. Oh my gosh. Pfft, it feels like Monday. It's Tuesday. Monday was yesterday, obviously. My kids had off school and daycare for Columbus Day, Ingenious People Day, whatever the heck you call it nowadays, but their school is closed, meaning I am home with them and I usually don't do a lot of work. So it feels like Monday today, but it's Tuesday, October, what is it? I don't even know, 15th. But I figured I would bring you guys along and show you what sold over the weekend. And you guys, now that I'm realizing that Monday was included in this, like, <sighs> even worse than I thought. So I'm not going to lie, I actually started this video in my storage unit this morning and then had a mental breakdown. <laughs> so yeah, um, here we are. I pulled all of my sales that I sold over the weekend. Today's actually Tuesday. It was a long weekend and it was a really bad weekend, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. As I said, I just had a mental breakdown. It really wasn't anything relating to my slow sales. A little bit. I mean, I guess a little bit because the one sale I could not find and had to cancel an eBay order. Um, But I'm so sorry if y'all are like sick of hearing me talk about and looking like I'm not doing well because, you know, I'm really not. And this is real life. <laughs> it is what it is. I've been going through a really rough patch, so... I'm sorry, not sorry, if y'all are getting annoyed of it. I really try not to show a lot of these, like, raw moments where, you know, I'm obviously not doing very well. But I really, really want to ship out my sales with you this morning and kind of talk a little bit. I'm actually going to go make myself some coffee. It's really chilly out this morning. Yesterday, not yesterday, two days ago, it was like 80 degrees out. 80 degrees. It was hot. And then the day after that, it dropped to 60 degrees. I'm like... Definitely Pennsylvania weather for you. But yeah, like I said, definitely had a rough morning this morning. It is about 8.30 in the morning. I have pulled all of my sales that sold. It was a really slow weekend, you guys. I mean, I had like five eBay sales, four Poshmark sales, three Depop, and one Mercari. And that was from Friday, like half of the day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. <laughs> and I had five eBay sales. Like I said, one of those I had to cancel, so technically I had six eBay sales. But yeah, I I really things things are about to change here. I cannot keep going on like this, to be honest with you. Obviously, something I'm doing in my business isn't working either because five eBay sales in four days. That's actually crazy. Like that, that's wild. And I know part of it is not me. Like it's just the economy. eBay's freaking whack half the time, but. I feel like part of it is me to blame, you know, like, like I said, I try to get 10 listings up a day, but even 10, that's not enough. That's not enough listings. I need to do more. I know my girl Gloria over at Via Glow, she actually lists, I think, Monday through Thursday and then doesn't list through the weekend, which is something I've actually been considering doing and just listing more through the week, taking off the weekends and kind of experimenting with that because... That is my biggest struggle right now is listing on the weekends anyways. So if I'm already struggling with listing on the weekends, why not put more focus during the week and just get more listings up during the week? You know what I mean? Like I don't really work on the weekends, but I always try to have 10 listings scheduled for Saturday and Sunday. But if I just eliminate having to worry about those days, I feel like that will take a little bit of pressure off myself. And I, as a reseller for five years, I've always been in the mindset of you have to list every day. You have to list every day, every day, every day, every day. But if I'm consistently listing Monday through Friday, taking off the weekends, but if I'm consistent with that, it shouldn't really make that much of a difference. And like I said, if I'm listing more during those weekdays, then really it should positively impact my business, I would think. I'm kind of just thinking out loud right now, but... Like I said, things, something has got to change. I just have way too much on my plate. I'm realizing, you know, I just, one person is not meant to take on the load that I have taken on, you know, by themselves. So I have to realize that I have to take a step back. I have to think about what, like, what can I take off my plate to take a little bit of pressure off? And one of those things I'm thinking about is I think I'm going to be, right now I post three YouTube videos a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I've been loving that, but 
it's a lot of work you know YouTube is a lot of work I do love it but it's a lot of work for very little pay let's be honest and I didn't start YouTube to make money at all but at this point in life and at this point in my in my life I have to be realistic with what I'm putting my time into. I can't be spending 20 hours a week on something that isn't paying me 20 hours worth of work, if that makes sense. But I'm not going to be stopping YouTube. Don't you worry. But I was thinking, instead of posting three videos a week, I think I'm going to go down to two videos a week. But I think I'm going to try to make those videos a little bit longer. Like one maybe vlog style, one maybe haul, and just kind of go from there. And... Honestly, my last kind of vlog style ship with me video, you guys really seem to like. And I also really liked it. I really liked filming it. I really liked kind of having you guys along, hanging out with me in the morning. And yeah, so I think from here on out, actually starting this week, because I posted a video yesterday on Monday and it's now Tuesday. And normally I would post a video tomorrow, but that's just not going to happen. I just, I have to take that pressure off myself and I feel like that's going to relieve some of this stress. But I believe, I think I'm going to be posting on Mondays and Fridays. Maybe I will do Mondays and Thursdays. I think I will do that. So from now on, instead of posting Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I'm going to be posting Mondays and Thursdays and we will kind of see how that goes. I just have to take something off my plate. Something has got to give. I'm literally going to give myself a heart attack. That's not even exaggerating. Like the way I literally cry every day, the way I have a mental breakdown almost every single day, it's not okay. Anyway, you guys, I'm not going to spend this video freaking crying. I'm going to go regroup. I'm going to go make myself some coffee because I really need it. And then I'm going to be back with you guys to talk about what sold over the weekend. Also, Mr. Jasper has been laying here. Ah, baby. He hates being held, so he's like, when can I jump? Oh, I know. Look at you. All the people love you, though. A handsome kitty. Mwah. Anyways, guys, I will be back in a few. Sorry for such a weird start to this video, but before we get into shipping these sales, I wanted to show you one, this sunflower mosaic. Okay, you guys remember my first one, but I finished my second one which somebody actually paid me for. I think I told you guys that. And I'm going to be taking it to her this afternoon, but she is done. And then you guys, I also finished, I think I showed this once in a video, my mushrooms. She is done as well. And I actually made an Etsy shop, you guys, which is where I'm going to be selling my mosaic pieces. So this one, this mushroom is for sale right now. Nobody has bought it. And... Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really, I don't know. I need, if you guys happen to know anything about mosaics, the only thing I'm unsure about is, I don't know if I should be sealing these with something. Like all the videos that I've watched online, they don't seal them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if there's something I should be spraying or like a top coat I should be putting on. I guess I could, but I don't have to. You know what I mean? Since I growled it, that's really what holds the glass in place but I am freaking obsessed this one took hours and hours but do you see like the iridescent of the tiles in the background I just freaking love it but hey you guys so I had to show this off so proud of it and if it doesn't sell by my next market which is October 26th in about a week and a half I guess two weeks that I'm going to be taking it to my in-person market and trying to sell it there but I'm really happy about it and then I also semi started another piece kind of just for fun don't really know what I'm going to do with this but I got this 3d mushroom that I really freaking like from Hobby Lobby I think I'm just going to do kind of a blue green design on here no real pattern I don't really know yet but I'm definitely going to be making more of these in the future and selling them on my Etsy store. This one and the one that I made for myself are not identical. Like all the sunflowers that I'm gonna be making are gonna be just a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like they're all one of a kind. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys with that because I know a lot of you were really excited and supportive about my mosaicing, which I've really been loving it. So anyway, let's jump into what sold you guys if you watched my last ship with me you would know how i do my shipping is i take everything and i put them into 
clear poly bags and I do that with everything and then I will go back through. I will print all my labels on all of the platforms except for eBay, which I actually did last night. So I have all my labels here and then I wrote on the back what the sales are. And then I will ship my eBay sales last since I have to weigh my items for eBay. And yeah, this is such a cute golf sweater. But yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff in Polly's real quick and then we'll talk about what's sold. All right, so I put everything into Polly's. These I showed in my last video, which was my fill a bag sale haul. And these literally sold within a day of listing them. I was really surprised. Honestly, I was kind of surprised, but I kind of wasn't. So they were a really small size, which is why it shocked me that they sold so quickly. They were a size six and a half, but I also did not see any of these exactly like the same ones listed online. And when I did a comp on these, I saw a pair sold for $55. So these are a pair of Ariat Fat Babies, which these are so cute. I would have totally kept these or tried them on if they were my size. This is what the line is by Ariat. I don't think I've ever heard of that, but yeah, they sold really quickly. Somebody sent me a $40 offer on eBay. I definitely could have gotten more on these, but again, they sold within a day. I gladly accepted that offer, especially because sales have been so slow, like I said. And so $40 and I paid only $1.81 for them. That was my average cost of goods that day. So that is not bad. It's still a great profit and it sold within 24 hours of listing. Cannot complain. So let's package up all of these sales. I remember these did sell on eBay. So maybe I guess we'll start with our eBay sales. I need to go back to my shipping closet and get a box for these. But let's see here. Pull up my eBay. Like I said, I had to cancel an order this morning. I believe I said that in this video. I don't even know because like I had, it's only 8.30, almost nine o'clock in the morning. And I feel like it's been a full day for me because it's been a morning, but yeah, I had, oh yeah. I did talk about canceling the order. I remember now. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, uh, yeah. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to actually bring you back with me to my shipping closet. I don't think I ever showed you this. I say my shipping closet. I really should be using this closet for probably something else because I'm in a tiny apartment, but it works. Let me show you. You guys want to see real life right now? <laughs> I don't show this often, but uh, this is what we're working with right now. We got a messy house. Um, this is real life. There's my kitchen. Got to take those to storage. Daughter's room. And here's my shipping closet. <laughs> I don't think I've ever brought you guys back here. There's actually a light. But yeah, we got to twist it because we don't have the pool thing anymore. See what I mean by shipping closet? <laughs> So I put all my random boxes in here, which I think those boots will actually fit in this box and they're going through eBay. So that's perfect. But I keep random supplies in here, some USPS boxes, bubble wrap. This is some baby clothes for my friend Mallory. I have some Christmas gifts shoved back here. I'm going to be doing thrift boxes for my best friend, my mom, my kids and my brother. So I started getting stuff for that. And random storage but um yeah so I have a little step back here which is so unique about my apartment I feel like here's my bathroom I don't know how this turned into a little mini house apartment tour but here it is there's meow meow in Dallas's room hi bubbies and yeah that is my apartment <laughs> small but mighty this is real life I don't think I've ever showed my full apartment like that in a video and then you guys are sitting on my bed my, my bedroom is kind of shared with the living room kind of like a studio setup that way my two kids can have their own bedrooms but anyway I think this will fit perfectly 
in here but I use that closet. It's actually, it's a decent size. Like you could literally walk into it. You know, it's pretty deep. It used to be my ex's closet. He had his clothes in there when he lived here. So when he moved out, I was like, yes, like I get this whole closet now. And I knew immediately that I wanted to use it for reselling and it's come in so much handy. I mean, honestly, I could fit most of that stuff like under my bed probably, but I don't want to. Although I do have some stuff under my bed, like my packing paper. Oh, that's heavy. My packing paper I keep shoved under the bed. I have a box of padded flat rate envelopes that I keep under the bed. And anyway, like I said, these boots sold for $40. So I put them in the box. They fit perfect. I just wrap them with some paper and then I just kind of stuff some paper around it. That way they don't like flop around a lot. You know what I mean? Whenever I get packages from Amazon, I always keep the packaging supplies. If it comes with paper, I keep the paper in the boxes. I keep the boxes 100%. I'm constantly reusing boxes. But my friend Cassie recently told me that if you make a business account on UPS, which apparently only works for some people because it won't work for me. So strange. I even tried to make a new account and it wouldn't work. But for some people, you should try it. If you make a business account on UPS, you can order free shipping supplies and free shipping labels as well. They have the sheets of labels and they apparently have rolls, which I didn't have the option for the rolls. I only had the option for the sheets. My label printer takes the rolls. And then also you can order plain brown boxes. Literally, plain brown boxes, they ship to her. Now, again, it that was not an option for me. Like, I did not have an option to order the plain brown boxes. I could order some UPS boxes for free, but I rarely ship UPS, so I didn't want those. But anyway, she actually ordered some of those boxes and labels for me. She said she had a roll of labels, I think. But just a heads up, if you guys are able to make a UPS business account and check it out under like the shipping supply, it's like a shipping tab. And then you should be able to order shipping supplies for free, which is wild. So with my eBay sales, I have to weigh every single one. I should have actually taken that label off first. I usually try to take the old labels off the boxes before I ship new stuff in them, but I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up. Totally fine. I guesstimated that this weighed three pounds. Honestly, I don't even think it weighs that much. Oh my gosh. Wow. Almost, almost spot on. Two pounds, 14.7 ounces. Basically three pounds. Wow. That's actually wild. The next thing that sold was a really cheap sale. <laughs> a lot of these were not high dollar sales. I was accepting those low offers left and right. But this is a Pendleton. I've actually had this forever. So I was glad to see this go vintage pendleton plaid shirt somebody sent me a 15 dollars offer happily accepted i really need to get some smaller poly mailers now i remember in a couple videos ago i was talking about how i need to get some bigger ones which now i have bigger ones but i'm out of the smaller ones and for stuff like that and for this which is one of the things that i sold like I don't need to be putting that in a huge 15 by 12 poly bag. This next thing, I loved this. This was a vintage quilted reversible jacket. May have actually not been vintage, but super cute, fall like. Somebody sent me a $25 offer, happily accepted that. I had that listed probably for like three months. So not too, too bad, but perfect time of year for that. And those quilted, reversible jackets people love it doesn't matter what brand it is a lot of times they don't even have brands on them they sell so well this next thing is a jamie and jack dress i actually showed this in a semi-recent haul i found a matching button-up shirt with it that was a little boy shirt i realized it was like so stained after the fact but somebody bought this dress they sent me a 15 dollars offer happily accepted you guys 15 dollars for a little kid's dress this is a size four absolutely the brand Janie and jack you definitely want to keep an eye out for it it sells so well for me like it always sells well for me and when i say it sells well i don't mean that it sells for a million dollars i mean i just mean that it always sells for me like it doesn't matter what Janie and jack pieces i pick up and they usually sell pretty quickly to be honest with you this next piece <laughs> kind of funny i didn't even put it in a clear poly bag because it was such a cheap sale but this was a seven dollar sale it's just a little kids vintage pair of pants though so cute kind of christmas themed and yeah somebody sent me 
$7 offer. Happily accepted. The elastic is in excellent condition. So I'm just going to throw this in a poly bag by itself. My poly bags are pretty thick, so I'm totally fine with that. Honestly, a lot of people don't even care and don't even care about the clear poly bag. But like I said, since it was literally $7 sale, I... I'm not going to put it in a poly. And those are all my eBay sales, you guys. Those were literally all of my eBay sales since Friday afternoon. I'm just like at a loss. I am at a loss for words. I'm trying to not to get discouraged. I don't know how not to, but it's just like, it's sickening. Like why, why? I had five sales, five sales. It's pretty sad when Poshmark did better for me than eBay over the weekend, which Poshmark has been, you know, it's been my second platform, but definitely has never been, really never been as good as eBay. So it's really sad when Poshmark did better than eBay. I mean, I had higher dollar sales on Poshmark. I had more sales, I think, or the same amount. Like that's unheard of for me. That is wild. Is anybody else experiencing this on eBay? Like what is going on? I don't get it. <laughs> one day, actually, now that I think of it, the one day, I think it was Sunday, I had zero sales on eBay. Zero. That hasn't happened to me in months since vacation. Like literally when I went on vacation, I had zero sales a day or two even then I was making sales while on vacation while I had time away set or like while I had my handling time extended but I had a zero dollar sales day <laughs> what is happening are you gonna print I'm just gonna print twice <laughs> my label printer has been acting so weird I mean technology in general like why why oh you know what I don't think that was I'm glad I saw that because I just put the wrong label in here. It just printed out a label from yesterday. This is not an eBay label because you could tell that's filled in with eBay labels. The G is not filled in. I am so glad I saw that. Like why? I don't understand. My label printer has been printing out like extra labels. It will print out extra blank labels after it prints out the label. I don't know if it's these labels. I don't, I just don't understand. It's just been acting funky. Like this is so big <laughs> for this little item. I really need to go on Amazon today and just order a really cheap pack of poly mailers that are smaller. Cause I feel like this is so wasteful, especially this time of year when I'm going to be using the bulkier items, or when I'm shipping out a lot of bulky items, I need these big poly mailers for that stuff. Does anybody else get paranoid that they're gonna ship the wrong item to the wrong buyer? Like I've definitely done it before, but I am constantly double checking the name on here versus the eBay thing. Cause I'm just so paranoid, especially, and on Poshmark too. Like I'm just like, okay, this is, this is the right thing, right? Like this is for the boots. So I'm like, okay, her name's Rachel. Is that Rachel? Yup, that's where it says Rachel. It's going to Rachel. Just gotta make sure that's what we're doing here. Because I am just so paranoid and that is such a hassle if you ship the item, the wrong item to the wrong buyer. Oh my goodness, that's such a hassle. So moving on to, well, I guess let's do Mercari. We have, oh wait, we had two Mercari sales actually. I think I said that we only had one, but we had two Mercari sales. I actually need, wait, I think I need to print the other label. Yeah, I do. Okay, weird. I swore that I printed it last night. Maybe that was that other label that printed right now. But anyway, I will tell you about this. This is a vintage Tricot St. Raphael golf sweater. Look at that print, you guys. Oh my goodness. I've only had this for probably about a month. I found it in the bins. And so I only paid about a dollar for it. I had it listed for $45. Somebody on Macquarie. I love making sales on Macquarie because... There's zero fees to buyers anymore, as you guys probably know. So when somebody sends you an offer, like when you sell something, that's the amount you're getting into your bank account. But somebody sent me a $37 offer. I gladly accepted that. Like I said, I only had it listed at 45. So 37, amazing. And 37 will be going into my bank account. And like I said, I only had that for about a month. I definitely printed this label last night. I remember. I don't know what happened to it. But this next thing, this actually I've had for a decent amount of time. I definitely could have gotten more money for this, but again, slow sales. I'm accepting offers. I pay about a dollar 
for everything that I have because most of the items I get from the bins. But this is by the brand One Teaspoon. This was a pair of jeans. They were called the Awesome Baggy Jeans. I do think they were also a smaller size. But I had those listed around $35, I believe. Somebody on Mercari asked if I would take $22. I said, you know what? Yeah, I'll take that. At first, I was thinking in my head, no, I'm not going to take that. But as the day went on and as the sales were, like, really slow, I'm like, yeah. So I went ahead and just dropped the price to $22. She came in and bought it. Happy to see those go. I've only had those for about a month or two as well. And last but not least, oh wait, no, we have Depop and Poshmark. What am I thinking? So we actually have three Depop sales. I think there's one label that I have to print. I try to print most of my labels at night, but anything that comes in like late at night, I don't have a chance to print yet. All right, so this first thing actually sold super quickly. I think I showed this in a haul. I don't remember, but this was a fall cardigan. Now it did have a few flaws on it. It had like some of the coloring was running a little bit. I think there were a couple, a couple small stains as well on the sleeves. So I priced it accordingly. I only priced it at $25. Normally for funky, like really unique artsy knit sweaters like that, I would list close to $35. But somebody came and bought it outright at $25. So maybe that tells me that I should always list them at $25 and they will sell quicker. I have some Christmas ones listed right now and I'm thinking maybe I should price them a little bit lower and they'll sell quicker. But anyway, this next piece is a Christmas item by Cassie and Max. It was a Christmas vest, velvet, embroidered. I actually showed this in my recent haul where I showed Christmas items that I pulled from storage that I was going to be listing. And this just goes to show that, yeah, you guys, you need to be listing those Christmas items if you have them. If you're finding them, definitely get them listed now. People are buying Christmas early. They're buying fall. They're buying Christmas. Like, they're buying all the things. But somebody sent me an $18 offer. I had this listed at $25. Happily accepted that. And last Depop sale was this Y2K baby doll top gauzy and it had like the butterfly logo on the tag and a couple people commented on that video where I showed it in the haul and said that they thought that it was fashion bug which I still am not 100% sure of but it would definitely make sense it seems like that vibe but either way it was a like y2k baby doll top it was a plus size which I loved and let me see what this sold for I cannot remember I want to say this one sold for $18 as well but let me just double check that. And I also love selling things on Depop as well nowadays because they say they have no selling fees. They don't have a seller's fee, but they have a transaction fee that we have to pay. But their fees are literally like the second lowest next to Mercari, I want to say. So I love selling pieces there. No. So this baby doll top sold for $16.72. Oh, wait, no. That's what went into my bank account. Okay, hold on a minute. Yeah, it sold for $18. So yeah, $16.72. Went into my bank account, so only they only took like a dollar and something cents for the fee. So that's not too, too bad. Moving on to Poshmark. The rest of the sales are Poshmark. Five sales. So literally the same amount that I had on eBay, except for my Poshmark sales were way better. Higher dollar for sure. I'm going to pull up my sales screen so I can tell you exactly what everything sold for. But this first piece I do remember sold for $34. This was a DKNY vintage like Y2K red leather midi or not midi like pencil skirt, straight skirt. It was a little bit longer, but I loved the red leather. Something about it was so like sexy to me. I don't know. But this sold for $34 on Poshmark. So happy to see that go. I've had that for a few months. I want to say at least three months. So yeah, definitely happy to see that piece go. This was a flying tomato mesh bodysuit. I've had this probably for about three or four months as well. So happy to see that go. Somebody sent me a $10 offer on that. I do remember. And I happily accepted. And yeah, happy to see that go, you guys. And you know what is so confusing? I realized. So this sold for $10. And my take home for this was like $7.80 something cents. Okay. And then this piece, which is a Belize, Belize, am I saying that right? I don't even know. T-shirt, 
single stitch vintage also sold for ten dollars on poshmark okay but my take home for that was like eight dollars and four cents so i'm wondering why for the two ten dollar sales am i taking home different amounts so for their new fee structure i'm wondering are they taking the new fees off of the total amount of the sale including the sales tax and all that i feel like they would have to be because why else would these two sales be ten dollars and i didn't offer discount shipping and yet my take home is different that is so odd to me i do not know if i'm loving this new fee structure like it's not so bad for us sellers but it's confusing and it's just i don't know it's just weird i feel like they should have just they should have found a way to make this a little more easy to understand like i don't even know but this next thing that sold was a lucky brand pair of jeans women's size four these have been had for a decent amount of time like probably about half a year honestly i don't typically pick up lucky brand jeans anymore i don't pick up a ton of jeans i don't really like selling jeans <laughs> if i'm being honest with you like pants and jeans i absolutely hate i hate photographing so therefore i hate selling even though i know they can sell decently well it's just i despise photographing them but these i do remember sold for 21 dollars. i think that was my offer that i sent them they accepted last but not least is this tea by alexander wang velvet striped dress this again i've had for quite a while probably about a year to be honest with you guys i don't remember what i had this listed at but i do remember that somebody sent me a 25 dollar offer and i went ahead and accepted and i was like oh i'm gonna pull up my sales so I could see what they sold for. And I literally remembered everything that sold. <laughs> so that's funny. But yeah, $25, happily accepted that. Definitely got that from the bins. And like I said, I've had that for a long time. Yeah, it's not even letting me pull up the sales screen right now being so weird. But anyway, you guys, thanks so much for sticking around. Thanks so much for um, hanging out with me during this ship with me. I'm sorry it started off a little depressing but like I said that's real life I keep it real around here and I cannot always be happy I mean that's just what it is but reminder like I said at the beginning as well my new YouTube upload schedule is going to be Mondays and Thursdays from now on and this should definitely take some pressure off of myself so definitely turn on those notification bells subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss future videos but thanks so much guys for watching I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video